sometimes known as Aroma Care. We thank you for coming. My name is Elaine Broyles, and I'm the president of the League of Women Voters of Moscow. The League of Women Voters was founded in 1920, just prior to the passage of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, which gave women the right to vote. The mission of the League was to help women register to vote, to educate themselves on candidates and issues, and to learn the mechanics of voting. We do much the same today, but for all citizens, not just women. Our mission is to, one, encourage informed and active participation in government, two, to increase understanding of major public policy issues, and three, to influence public policy through education and advocacy. Our membership includes men as well as women, and we always welcome new members. If you are interested in joining the League, we have a membership information uh, available at the table in the back of the room. Also on that table are several information, informational uh, Affordable Care Act handouts provided by AARP and copies of our elected <laughs> official guide and is back there are a little pile of them back there too and a donation basket should you wish to help to defray the cost of this meeting. Our league helps with voter registration and education and publishes the voter's guide before every election. On even numbered years, we conduct a mock student election in the schools of Lake Park County. The mock election has been very successful, and our efforts have been recognized by the National League as one of the best in the country. Over the past two years, we have conducted a poverty study of the Palouse which resulted in a compelling document looking at five areas, food insufficiency, housing, medical care, child care, and transportation. We are now advocating for improvements in those areas. In the past several months, we have seen these, service, these additional services become available in Lake Talk County. A federally qualified health center established by CHAZ, Community Health Association of Spokane. Family Promise, which provides a place to live, <coughs> eat, and get back on their feet to homeless families with children. And the Salvation Army has established an outreach office in their thrift store to assist with housing, food, and employment for those in need. After the speakers make their presentations, we will take questions from the audience. Questions from the audience must be submitted in writing. Cards and pencils have been passed out for that purpose. If you did not get one, please raise your hand and the league member will bring you those supplies. To submit a question, raise your hand to get the attention of the runner and pass your card down to your row where a league member will collect it. Questions will be sorted Similar ones may be combined and then given to the moderator to be asked. Questions may not be called from the floor. With that, I would like to introduce Richard Seaman, who will be moderating the forum this evening. Professor Seaman is the in Interim Associate Dean for Faculty Affairs and a professor at the University of Idaho School of Law. He earned his BA and MA at Johns Hopkins University and his JD from Duke. Before becoming a professor, he worked as an assistant to the Solicitor General of the United States. In that capacity, he made oral arguments before the US Supreme Court 15 times. He has written several books and many law review articles. Uh, Richard will introduce our candidates and explain the rules for the forum. Uh, we certainly appreciate his willingness to serve as the moderator this evening. And I would especially like to thank Andrea, Andrea Beckett for doing such a fine job as chair of this forum committee and the Moscow Chamber of Commerce for co-sponsoring co this forum. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming out. You know, I might mention before I begin, if you have a cell phone and you want to turn the volume down, that's probably be much appreciated. We're going to very briefly introduce our speakers and then um, the format of tonight's forum. Um, 
Uh, starting on my right, um, management is the Idaho State Senator for District 5. He's a practicing physician and served on the governor's work group to study Medicaid redesign for Idaho. He also sits on the state catastrophic health insurance board. Representative Cindy Agidius is a first-time legislator, a local realtor, and a 37-year resident of Waysaw County. She serves on the Agriculture, Education, and Business Committees. She attended UI and majored in communications. She has worked with two United States Senators over a span of eight years and is a member of numerous service organizations in the area. We also have with us this evening in the audience Michael McDowell. Mike, if you would identify yourself, uh, is a partner with Troy Insurance. He has more than 25 years' experience in the health insurance industry, spending time with organizations such as Regents. For the last 10 years, he has specialized in employee benefits, and he brings with him um, to this uh, discussion a lot of experience, um, not only in health insurance, generally, but in the Affordable Care Act. Our format is going to be that um, uh, uh, Senator Schmidt is going to begin and uh, have uh, about 10 minutes for remarks, or less if he chooses, and then we'll hear from Representative Gideus. After that, we're going to open it up for your questions and comments. Uh, as mentioned, if you have a question and want to get a, uh, an index card to write your question down, just raise your hand, and uh, one of the uh, League of Women Voters representatives will give you an index card and a little stubby pencil to write it with, and then you can hand it back, and I'll be reading questions uh, from the audience for our panel members to, uh, to uh, respond to. So we'll start out with Senator Schmidt. 